to show you how I make a rainbow explosion cake. So if you don't know what a rainbow explosion cake is, Google it and you'll see a beautiful cake that's filled with candies in the middle. But, but my rainbow explosion cake is a raw vegan explosion cake and it is just made with fruit. So let me show you how I do it. So what you need is a watermelon, um, a good size watermelon, a cantaloupe, and a honeydew melon. And what I try and do is I try and get the honeydew and the cantaloupe to be a similar size. Um, and then you just want your watermelon to be larger than the honeydew and cantaloupe, but that's usually the case. So um, I'm gonna show you, I'll probably go closer up and show you exactly what I do. But to start with, um, I wanna go and get a nice big section of this watermelon. So let me show you how I do it. So I've got a nice big wide section of watermelon here, and then I'm gonna do the same with the, can um, the honeydew and the cantaloupe. So the way I'm gonna get the fattest section out of the cantaloupe is I'm gonna cut in the middle. So I'll probably cut right about here and um, right about here. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just set this watermelon aside for the moment and get the big wide section out of my honeydew. I mean, my cantaloupe. <laughs> okay. a nice chunk of cantaloupe right there and next up is the honeydew So what I need to do now is I need to remove the seeds out of the center of the honeydew and the cantaloupe and then take off the skin of all of the melons. Here we go. to get a nice round shape on the outside of the melon rather than the square shape, I prefer the method of just slicing along the, um, the round side of the candle kind of, of the melons. So you can just go all the way around. size of the melon is um, is quite different so I just need to trim up the watermelon to match the smallest size of the um, cantaloupe and um, honeydew so here we go rough template here and I'm going to do my very best to try and follow this circle that I've cut out all the way around. Let's see how I did. So I've got my watermelon, cantaloupe and honeydew. So pretty good. You can spend hours and hours making them match up perfectly, but this is gonna be fine for our purposes. So um, I have the hole in the middle of the, water, the, the honeydew, the hole in the middle of the cantaloupe, 
I just need to get a hole in the middle of this watermelon. But I do want to save one slice to go on the top of the cake. So what I, I do is I just turn it and I'm just going to cut a very thin slice all the way through and this is going to be the top of the cake. This will cover up the hole in the middle. So very important to hang on to that slice. And I'm just going to fashion a little hole all the way around. And this doesn't matter. Um, you don't need to get it absolutely perfect because this is on the inside of the cake. So I have my three rings, my little three ring circus here. And so it's going to end up looking something like this. But for the rainbow explosion part of it, we have to get a bunch of fruit on the inside. So let me show you. Okay, so we have our melon here. And you can do a number of different things with this. I could put a slice of the um, watermelon in between each layer. You could, you know, do thinner layers. You can do two layers of each melon, whatever you desire. So to make it look pretty, I always put it on a cake stand and I have a bunch of fruit here. I have berries and grapes and you can put mangoes or, you know, whatever, whatever you have around. So all I'm going to do now for assembling is deassemble, disassemble this and pop this on my um, cake stand. I'm just going to try and line it up. Right, you're not going to get it perfect every time, but you should um, spend a little bit of time trimming it and you know making it look all even. If that's going to bother you, that it's not perfect. But you could just—it's—it's it's really pretty. There's no cake coloring inside this, and um, I think it would make make a fabulous cake for anyone, vegan or not. So I'm going to put the fruit in the middle of the cake. I'm just going to scoop it in here and this is what's going to act as the um, sort of hundreds and thousands of confetti um, on the inside of the cake. So that should do it. Whoops, I got one missing grape. And you can put in a bunch of fruit around the base of the cake too, but this is going to be the lid here. So that's what you're left with this wonderful tier of fruit. So I'm gonna cut into this and show you what it looks like on the inside and you can see the explosion happen. But it would be really pretty to just have a bunch of fruit around the base of the cake as well. So let me show you. So I am gonna put a couple of strawberries around the base of the cake and all I'm gonna do is slice into the strawberry because right in the middle you've got these beautiful little hearts. So I'm gonna keep the leaves on um, if you have stemmed strawberry, strawberries, that would be even prettier. But this is what I have today. These beauties, look at that beautiful heart. And that will probably be enough for around here. I could put blueberries and grapes and raspberries, but let's cut into this cake and see um, what happens. I'm just gonna trim off a little bit here. Here goes. So, got a little cake lift here. Prince is running in to see what is going on. Oops, I don't think I made it all the way through there. So, we got the cake. This is your explosion with all the fruit coming out. It's kind of fun. You can really go to town and get creative. You could decorate the whole outside of the cake. Like for instance, I have some mangoes here that look really cute. Like you use um, little toothpicks. You could also, you know, put some strawberries on. 
Um, I do have some other examples um, that I will post on my Instagram of different cakes that I've made with fruit. I just use these sort of heart shape cutters to make some cute little hearts. Um, I use some extra honeydew melon and this could also be on top of the cake. It looks kind of cute on top. So just have fun with it. Enjoy your explosion. In fact, it looks a little more dramatic when you have a little bit more sort of running out onto the, the platter. So that's it. That's your rainbow explosion raw vegan fruit cake. And um, with candles on top, sparkles, you could really make this festive for a birthday celebration. I made my daughter and her and her husband a wedding cake that was all made of fruit as well. So have fun with it, enjoy, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let us know what you think of this video. Let us know what else you'd like to see me make. Thanks.